Hi everyone, it's Raja. And Raven. And you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. I love that we both wore the same hat. <laughs> Just different color. I think I've worn this before I, and I don't really care because I have a collection of things and if I've worn something before, well, fuck it. And she's reading my mind with all them eyes on that hat. Eyes, my eyes, I got my eye on you. The very first episode of 2021. Happy New Year, everyone. And usually when we kick off the very first episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review for a brand new season, we shoot and boot their entrance looks and their main stage looks, but this episode, they wore their entrance look right onto the main stage. What a gagger. Ah! Gag the house down boots. Let's see our first look. Bring, Bring on the first queen, girl. and she is Candy Muse. I love all of it. I love denim. And I love when you take denim and you use a whole bunch of different shades of it, different textures of it, and different finishes on it to give you a whole look that you could say, oh, it's a denim look, but it's not just like one type. And I love that the boom box is frayed. I love everything about this. I love the idea always of upcycling and denim is one great way to do it. The fact that it has denim and rhinestones and you know, denim and diamonds, who doesn't love that combination? That boom box baby is sickening. I love it. I hope it's a purse. For me, it should be a purse. And whether it is a boom box that identifies as a purse or a purse that identifies as a boom box, I Love it! Maybe it's non-boomnary. Ah! Hey. <laughs> All right. Ultimately, I think that Candy Muse looks fantastic. All the way, the house down boots. I love it! I give it a toot. Toot. Our next girl is... Joey J. I love the boot so much. I can't tell if it's a boot or if it's a spat. Is it something that's just over her pants and she's wearing a pump? I don't really care for the rest of it though. She's wearing chicken feathers, girl. How do you feel about that? You know, I've been sitting in quarantine and isolation and all I ever do is scroll through Instagram. And as I scroll through Instagram, this is all I see. It's that wet hair. The chaps and the bodysuit combination. You know, it's fine, but I need a first impression that just says, you know, like, wow. I'm gonna call it out if I keep seeing the same thing all season from anyone. So. With that said, I'm gonna give this a boot. I agree. It is a boot. Next up, Denali. And she actually walked into the workroom and then onto the main stage in ice skates. I think it's adorable. They think the outfit is really, really beautifully done. It's just piles and piles of beautiful, soft ostrich. She looks like an absolute confection. I love this look. And I think it's brilliant that she came in with ice skates because she wanted to let everybody know exactly where her talents lie. I love that braid. It is nice, it's pretty, but again, it is something that kind of seems like it harkens back to other things that we've seen, but I love that it's clean because, you know, wearing all that white in all that makeup and all day, she looks like a beautiful frozen princess. Two. It's a two. Next we bring to the stage... La La Rie. No, ma'am. Here's the thing. I am a queen who loves a blazer with a pump. I think it's a fun look for a club. It's a fun look for a number. As far as actually doing it to walk into the workroom, I don't really think I would. Who knows? Back then I might have. Now I wouldn't, but it just doesn't fit. It could be tailored a little better and look more intentional than, oh, I got something on my costume and I needed to cover it with a blazer. It needs a little bit more length to it in order to translate as blazer and dress, you know? Like it, it just needs a, a couple more inches, maybe about an extra three inches to the bottom of it to just kind of let it translate as a blazer look. You know, it just looks like she, like her pants are missing. As a first entrance look, although it goes really well for this lip sync for your life uh, moment because they're both in white, I just think it's understated and it just says, I forgot my pants, so I'm gonna give this a boot. I give it a boot. Next to the stage, Samo. She's wearing a dress made of Polaroids of herself. Brilliant. 
it's clear already that she is quite the fashion queen and, and an innovator. And I love it. I love this idea. It's got this Paco Rabanne feel, kind of 60s mod, you know, with where you would piece together the shingles to create a dress. I think it really kind of kicks everyone in the teeth so far, as far as how cool it is. And it's all herself on there. Absolutely. I love it. Two, two. Next, we bring to the stage Tamisha Iman. With this look, I wish she would have lost the pants. You could do this jacket without the pants and it would be pretty fierce. I think it's actually a pretty fierce look. There's something kind of cool and mature about it. She's like, I am going to give you a little bit of sophistication by wearing this, an, an entire suit, an entire pants suit, a power suit, if you will. So many queens look beautiful in red and she looks beautiful. Look at that smile. Beauty. And I love the peak shoulders. I love the detail of the rhinestone and jeweling around the lapel. I love the little bit of tail that's been added to it because who doesn't love a little bit of tail, honey? Mm-hmm, especially in these times. Yeah, I think she looks great. I'm gonna give this look a two. Two. Next we bring to the stage, Got Mick. It almost reminds me of ice cream. Just looks like big scoops of ice cream. I find the look to be very current in fashion in the sense that it uses really interesting shape. It uses volume through ruffles. The colors are really cool. It's not a typical look. It's not something that you would describe as like, oh, this is what all the kids are doing now. And I think Gottmik is an innovator. And I give this look a two. Two. Next we bring to the stage, Beautica. I love clashing patterns. It's got texture, it's got color. It's very, very, very stylish. It is not on trend in any sense. It's really well done. Reminds me a little bit of some of my many favorite designers, Dries Van Noten, a little bit of Vivian Westwood thrown in there. The only thing I would probably get rid of is the strawberry on the head. The strawberry is definitely unnecessary, but I can see Utica's point of view in this outfit, but it confuses the audience. It's always better when you're confused by something else than just by your damn self. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. It's a two. It's a two. Next, we bring to the stage Rose. Mm -mm. Rose, no. This is something that I've seen over and over and over again. This looks like every drag brunch with a face shield that I've seen through quarantine. It's a bodysuit and it's the big, fluffy, colored hair. As a first time look, I think it's just so expected and not exciting to me. It's a fun look, I will say. But as far as it being, I'm gonna walk in and I'm gonna serve you a look in the workroom as my first walk. It's like, oh, and that hair, bitch, no. Mm -mm. She's one of those queens where she lends her fashions to her name. So everything's got like a pinky nod to it, but mm, that hair. Mm -mm. I understand that people have a, a signature to what they do to really assert themselves and set themselves apart from the other queens. So using pink, if your name is Rosé, is is adorable. I think it's, it's cute. This outfit was constructed well, so I don't want to offend the people who designed it. It's not the designer's fault no. if the queen that's wearing it didn't make the right choice. I'm just more concerned of the originality of it. I think it's just something that's already been done, and I am not gagged by it. This is a boot for me. It's it's a boot. Next, we bring to the stage Olivia Lacks. I love the colors. Anytime you put pink and yellow together, I always think of a pink lemonade, a strawberry lemonade, citrus dream. However, this is not the way I want to see them together. It just looks like two stage curtains that were taken and draped over her, pinned, and it wasn't finished. It's a bit confusing to me. I like the dress in shape and, and concept, but I'm not into the styling of this at all. I don't like the way it's pieced together. The hair is very confusing to me. I'm like, why that hair with that thing and the little purse? There's a little too many different types of styles all put onto one person, where sometimes that works, However, this to me, no. Mm -mm. There could have been an adjustment in the hairstyle. I think the hairstyle has just kind of been there, done that. It doesn't go with the outfit, in my opinion. I do like lemon yellow and pink, but maybe not together in this particular outfit. It's like mixing se several textbook ideas of what drag is now. Doesn't go, therefore it's a boot. Boot. Next we bring to the stage, Tina Burner. She's dressed like a fireman. Feel the burn. Her belt is supposed to be a hose 
and her purse is the badge. She's wearing, you know, the jacket repurposed into a, a cute little dress. And then she's got the little brim of the fireman hat wrapped around the top of her head. She's another one of those queens where she's taken her name and branded her look over it. So everything she wears is yellow and red. What a way to walk in than to be dressed as a fire person. I think it's inventive. I think it's clever. I'm not sure about the execution of this outfit, but I do love Kemp. She's probably a really funny queen, but it wouldn't be my favorite. It kind of comes off Ronald McDonald-ish, doesn't it? Oh my God, she's making me hungry for a Big Mac. I'm not sure if it executes as firefighter, but I get it. I like to play in the name. There is some thought put into it. I don't want to take that away from her because it identifies who she is. Her name is Tina Burner. It's not something that I've seen before. So I'm going to give it a toot. I'm going to give it a boot. Next we bring to the stage, Kamara Hall. Her tagline is the living Bob Mackie Barbie, I believe. And that is a Bob Mackie original. I love that kind of apricot, peachy, pastel-y orangeness to it. And then the different colors and the feathers make it seem a little more on the pastel -y side. And I love that hair. Rose had on big teased up hair, but it just kind of looked like a mess. This is big and teased up and it's been quaffed beyond the Valley of the Dolls. I love the smoothness of that large mound of hair. It's very Valley of the Dolls. It's classic. That's what I like about this, that beautiful classic drag. And an obsession for Bob Mackie, that is an absolute toot for me. Two. Last but not least, Elliot with two T's. Now see, there's things about this that I really like, but not all together. Love, love, love those pants. But there's something about this with the many colors that are in that jacket. I kind of wish she tied another color of from that jacket in somewhere, whether it was in the little wrap around the waist or maybe in the pump. There's so much red and then this blast of all these colors thrown over it. I love separates. I don't always love an entire outfit that's just made for being an outfit. I like the idea of queens mixing and matching and using things that are vintage. I love love any type of a tube or a bra top and then the little bolero jacket. I just wish there was another color somewhere in there because of all the colors in that jacket. Drag has now gotten to a place where everything has to be constructed by a designer and no one has that, that clever sense of piecing something together just for the irony and love of wearing clothing. What this brings is just a little bit of fun. It's nostalgic because it feels a little bit 80s, 90s throwback. So I'm gonna give this look a two. It's a two. Trend alert! Pants. Pantsuits. Pantalones. Oh, take off your pants and jacket. Pants, 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 pants. She's got a nice pants, body. Pants, 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 pants. She's wearing velvet pants. Pants, 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 pants. pants. Our, Our top, top two of the week, week is... Candy Mew! Candy Mew! Way to work it, bitch. Denim queen on the runway with your boom box. Yes, yes, yes. Congratulations, mama. Be sure to watch RuPaul's Drag Race season 13 every Friday on VH1. If you don't have VH1 where you're at, you can watch on WOW Presents Plus. Bye everyone. Bye, -bye girl. Girls, bring back my girls. Bring back my girls. Bring back my girls.